All right, Tracy, so what does your artistic process entail? So the first thing that, that really kicks it off is I really have to diffuse my, diffuse my mind where I'm only thinking about what it, you know, how the next painting is going to work, what do I need to do to get there, and I, I really try to let go of the other responsibilities in my mind. Um, so I can get to a place where the canvas is more speaking to me. When, and I know when it's not speaking to me, then I need to put the brush down. Um, I do use a lot of photographs for inspiration. Um, I love walking around different parts of the city. I'll take photographs of found objects, skylines, tree lines, telephone pole wires, um, and use certain parts of those photographs. Yeah, very cool. Well then, as a New Orleans artist, how would you say then that your work reflects the, you know, the creativity of the city? I, I feel like the city gives you so much if you're willing to open your heart to it and your mind to it. Um, there's just this constant beat in working on, mag having the gallery on Magazine Street and being on Magazine Street every day. I feel like, how can you not? How can you not find a form of, some form of self-expression? Mm -hmm. You know, whether it be painting, writing, um, the way you put your outfit together today, or how you set up your lunch, or you know, what did you drink your coffee out of? Just, it just, being in this area, I feel like you're, you're, you're going to live a, an artful life, whether you're putting it on canvas or not. Exactly. Well then, what can you tell us about your jewelry design? We have some pieces here. Yes, so um, I have, I'm on year six of my jewelry designs and I first started uh, working on the jewelry because every time we would have an event to go to or an art show, I always wanted like a big statement piece, something really to pull your outfit together. And it's hard to find just you know, when you need it, like, right there. <laughs> so, I started off um, with the same type of look, and it's a shoulder sweeper. Mm -hmm. And it's really, they're really inspired by, by that Studio 54 era. Mm -hmm. You know, just something long and um, sexy and free-flowing that you can wear with, like, a black dress, but then it looks good with jeans and a t-shirt. And um, as I've, I've done more with my digital work and my painting, uh, I noticed the paintings change and then the jewelry changes, like the stones get bigger or the chain gets thicker depending on what I'm painting. I feel like they, they always seem to be in the same family. That's so interesting. Well, then what can fans and collectors expect from you in the near future? So, uh, I really miss doing my digital work and I think in the, the next step, I was talking to Tony about this this morning, the next um, series that I want to work on is I want to somehow incorporate uh, my digital pieces with with uh, my paintings and it might be a sense of where it's actually a digital it's actually a photograph and then there's actually figures cut out of the photographs and then it would take a, a big part of the canvas so that's what I'm working on. Cool we can't wait to see it. Yes I should have that ready um, I think in October. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you.